on Instagram. Oh, it's on all. All right. Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome. Thank you for joining us today. This is actually our first time using StreamYard. So really cool because then we can stream live across all the platforms. Um, but today we're here to answer the question, are multivitamins bad? And really, are multivitamins for children bad? And really, it comes down to many factors. It really depends. It depends on the ingredients, meaning the active ingredients as well as the inactive ingredients, which kind of get sneaky in there. Um, it depends on the sourcing. It depends on the quality of each ingredient because there's many different forms of your active ingredients. And Ryan has a few um, slides we're going to share of popular uh, you know, supplement brands for children, popular multivitamin um, brands for children. And we're going to show you a few things to look out for when you're sourcing your um, multivitamin for kids. All right, guys. So look, let's throw up a little power. We're going to throw into the ad, the stage here a couple of brands. Lisa, you want to take a look at the Instagram and see if you can get that stream because, guys, like she said, we're just going live across multiple platforms at the same time, which is awesome. So there are some things about multivitamins. Most are bad. I just say flat out. And when they're bad, they're not worth taking. They can potentially do more harm than good. So many things, like Lisa said, it's the active ingredients, it's the inactive ingredients, it's the testing, it's the transparency. So all of those things really matter. But back to the main stage here, which is one right here, we've got Culturel, it's a real popular brand. And guys, we're talking about tens of thousands of people are buying these every month on Amazon or whatever your favorite e-commerce platform is. But you're missing your B-complex in the Culturel. You, you're using a D2, which is the less preferable form of D2. Or D2. You wanna use D3, which we use. Um, you have cyanocobalamin, which is the artificial or the synthetic form of B12. It is definitely less desirable than what we use, which is methylcobalamin. It only has 14 active ingredients, um, whereas the live good has 20. But, the, you know, just trying to highlight some of the things I would look out for, some things that I often see people ask about and say. So Amazon Basics only has 12 actives. They use the artificial form of vitamin E. They've got folic Acid. Yes, I was going to slow down because I want you to hit slow on the it down I want you to bit. hit on the methylated um, when you talk about cyanocobalamin and For folic sure. acid. Talk I will. About I, it. I will certainly will. Okay. So here you have folic acid and cyanocobalamin. They're both B, B vitamins, but in this case, they're both synthetic. They're less bioavailable, uh, ultimately less desirable, and so it doesn't have the full B complex. You know, and right here we were just talking about active ingredients, and then here's another one. This is actually by Bayer. So I guess Bayer owns Flintstones. It looks like, looks like that anyway. They don't even tell you the forms of your active ingredients, your A, your B, your, your Bs, the C, the D, the E. Not identified, really. Likely uh, likely they're using the, the cheapest. Cheapest forms, that's, right? Yeah, and, and then probably. when you, you kind of dig a little bit, you can find them. But they're just not very transparent. Uh, but the inactive ingredients, a very long list of inactive ingredients, many of which are very hard to pronounce, which is always a kind of a warning sign of, so carrageenan is one, right, that comes to mind, pops out. You know, it's banned from the organic certifying bodies. You're not allowed to use carrageenan right. if you have an organic product. Right. And I mean, it's known to cause inflammation in the body. It's known to cause gut issues. I yep. mean, these are like studies that have, have shown this over and over again. And then you're taking it in so many products. But again, you're taking it in something that you're thinking, you're giving your children, thinking that you're giving it to him for, you know, to be healthier. And you're actually causing more harm than good. So that's why when we say about our multivitamins good for children, sometimes it can be no, like the Flintstone ones, no, not good, right? That could cause more harm, especially putting some of those um, cheaper forms of the vitamins in can actually cause more harm than good. So it's really all about like reading labels, knowing your sources, knowing what company you're going with, knowing why, looking at the certificates of analysis, um, which of course, with our Live Good company, that's what we provide. Yeah. We provide full transparency. We provide all the details, all the information you need. We have our organic, USDA organic children's gummy multivitamin. So first out there, everybody that's, I mean, a parent, give me a heart. Like yeah. if you're a parent out there and you're looking for an, an awesome, you know, a multivitamin for your children, give me that heart. Cause I know there's so many out there and it is confusing. And the labels are confusing and the marketing is confusing. So it's really hard to know what you should be buying and, and why. So um, do you want to talk about our organic children's gummy multivitamin? Yeah, I think so. I, I think what we should do is also identify the couple of the – so when you when, – first of all, when you formulate in a gummy format, it's not an easy format to work in. You you can get by with some cheats and we, we, we didn't do that here. So – you'll notice there's about 20 active ingredients. It's a plant-based, it's USDA certified organic. It's not very large. 
It will dissolve. It tastes absolutely amazing. It smells good. It's a light citrus flavor. But the challenge of getting all of those active ingredients into the gummy was a, certainly a real challenge. So we were able to get in all the B complex. If you notice, we have, um, we have vitamin A. We have vitamin C as organic uh, cherry. So we went with the acerola cherry. We have the D as uh, plant-based lichen, organic lichen, which is awesome. And the natural form of E. One thing that sets us apart too, many people are not doing, is iron. We decided to go with some iron. And Lisa, I think you said you had something yes. from the pediatric. Um, yeah, so according to the American Academy of Pediatrics, most children do not get enough iron, calcium, and vitamin D, A, and B from their diets. Mm -hmm. So when you're looking to purchasing a multivitamin for your, your child, you need to make sure that it has these. And iron is one that is just commonly not in children's um, multivitamins. Yeah, exactly. And then you have the methylated forms of B12, so methylcobalamin. You have the L-methyl tetrahydrofolate, which is your folate. And those are really important because, you know, most people are, well, some aren't aware, but there's an MTHFR gene variant that uh, most people have, actually. It's becoming more and more common for the, for the most part. So anyway, it, it's beneficial. It's good for everybody. It's a better, better form of the vitamin. It's a more expensive form of the vitamin. And, um, you know, guys, again, like formulating in this gummy was super challenging. Now, one thing that I always like to talk about, Lisa, when we talk about gummy is added mm -hmm. sugars. I wanted to bring that up because yes. that's an important part of this whole thing. 100%. And first of all, there's so many things that go into play this. Like I'll tell you right now, we have... For two total of two, um, um, sorry, two gummies, we have four grams of sugar coming from organic cane sugar. And right away we think as like parents, like we don't want mm. our kids to have sugar, right? right? Oh, sugar, bad. Right. Well, yeah, it is. Too much sugar is toxic to the body. Too much sugar the body cannot handle. But when you're thinking about taking it in a vitamin form, you have to understand that you're taking it to actually reap the benefits of what's in there. Like Ryan was saying, it is very hard to make a, um, a gummy tasty for children. Now as adults, you tell me to take something because it's healthy, I'm gonna take it whether it tastes like crap or not. Our kids are not gonna do that. We have, yeah. I mean, we went through tasting with our kids. We brought these gummies to our bus stop. We had multiple kids in our neighborhood trying them because kids are very, very picky, especially when it comes to vitamins. Um, so we got the approval from everybody basically. So that's why we went with it. Um, so the four grams of sugar, you also need to understand, okay, these, I give these, uh, to my children every day. Raise your hand if you give these to your kids or a type of gummy in their lunchbox. Or if they buy lunch at school, I guarantee you buy it, they're getting um, a less quality form from the lunch line, right? Yeah. This alone has 12 grams of added sugar. We don't bat an eye about letting our kids have this or maybe the juice box that they have. I mean, I'm telling you, when I look at what goes on on the lunch lines at school Oof. and the things that they buy, you are loading them with sugar right there and you're yeah. really not even paying attention. Yeah. And then we just have... In two of these, four grams of sugar, yeah. and you get all your nutrients oh. that you need. I mean, that that you should not bat an eye at that, I'll tell you. Yeah, and then you see the kids with the Gatorades and the, and the Capri Suns, 12 to yes. 20 to 30 grams of sugar per serving. So, guys, just choose your sugar wisely. One thing, though, I would love this for, for you guys. So with our children, we tell them just look at labels and learn to read the added sugar section because they can they can do, they can can do comprehend that as early as what age, four, five, six? Right. You know, so right, like our 10 and – what, 12 and 10 year old yeah. are reading the labels now. They're not reading the full label. They're not looking for the full the methylated right. form of B12, but they're certainly looking at added sugar. So take it and use it as an educational opportunity because we also hate to see added sugars. We hate to see kids just sucking down the sugar, especially when 30% of kids are overweight or obese. Right. And we're just trending in the wrong direction, guys. So awesome. Um, I think awesome educational opportunity there. Yes, uh, definitely. Love to see parents adopt that more. Would be great. There was a, a question on there if you just want yeah. to answer real quick yeah, yeah, yeah. about age. So it says in here yeah. three plus, and three I've plus. had this actually here, quite a bit. Up. Can we show Serena the show? Sure. So the question here is: This vitamin still good for under two years of age? I don't know if they can chew. I think it's more of a choking hazard. It's a choking so, hazard, right? So I mean, that's the parent has so to understand if that they're part. chewing. If they if they're able to chew well. And these will dissolve in the mouth, but don't rely on it for that. They yeah. could still swallow and choke. So definitely be careful. Yeah. Make sure the child is able to chew and on their own. 100%. Guys, I uh, love all this feedback. Wow, so many comments coming in. But Lisa, where, where are we? What would you like to bring up now? I think we... So um, you know, I feel like, you know, Google is like our worst enemy. So I just played around <laughs> with it a little bit, and I was like, <laughs> our, worst enemy. it can be, can be. Dr. Google, put it that way. Dr. Google can be uh, the worst enemy. Um, and it can be our best friend. But 
when I Googled, um, are multivitamins bad for children or should children take multivitamins? I mean, that was where I just wanted to see like what comes up because that's typically where we all go for our yeah, information. Sure. And that's where I got the information about the American Academy of Pediatrics. But they, it's funny, they also say in there um, that, that children should get all their vitamins and minerals from food. Um, I mean, right? Is that really happening? No. It does. I try so hard to feed our children a healthy, balanced diet, but children are stubborn. I especially, picky, especially stubborn, a very, very picky, picky eater that doesn't won't eat any meats, barely eats any vegetables. I mean, that's what I'm saying. In a perfect world, I mean, laying everything out for your child, telling them everything that you need to eat. Maybe they're getting good, you know, enough. But also, we always we also know about our food sources just aren't the same we're not getting the same nutrients from our food. So it'd be really difficult to get this from food. And also the American Academy of Pediatrics says that if your child is consuming less than 32 ounces of vitamin D fortified milk a day, they need to supplement. 32, what? Wait, 32, 32 ounces, ounces of milk? 32 ounces. Is your child drinking 32 ounces of D fortified milk a day? I mean, that's a lot. And, and the <laughs> word fortified for just means that they're adding vitamins to really uh, nutrient poor food, right? So cereals. Exactly milks, you know, these foods that kids are just shouldn't be eating in the first place, but they're adding D and they're still like saying 32 ounces is ridiculous guys. That's right. crazy. Do I still, all right, let's see. What is the question? Um, do I still have to give a daughter separate vitamin D? No, you, no, they're, you're, you're okay to use, um, what you have here in the vitamin. As a matter of fact, for an older child, some 13, 14, 15 year old kids would still prefer to chew a gummy and they can increase the dosage a little bit to three or four gummies per day. Right. Um, so you certainly can, uh, depending on the age of the child, uh, move that a little bit, but most cautiously for the young young ones under three. Right. All right. All right, guys. What are the well, questions we have? We're 12 after them. We're kicking Okay, up. awesome. Yeah. Um, so, Bottom line is our children do need a multivitamin, okay? They need a daily multivitamin, but that you need to pay attention to the ingredients, both the active ingredients as well as the inactive ingredients. You have to know your sourcing. You have to, it's hard to learn. Um, well, obviously like, you know, Ryan knows, you know, specifically about what type of vitamin you should use, like the different kinds of B vitamins, the different kinds of B12, which one's more preferred. Um, but if you don't know, like know the company you're with and ask questions. And that's what we also pride ourselves at LiveGo with the full transparency. Parency. Like we're always there for questions and help. Um, that way you can understand and learn why you're taking what you're taking and why you need it. Um, our, our gummy for children is $14.95 if you're a member and $19.95 if you're not. So that's a 30 day supply. Two gummies, so 60. It's amazing 60 total. considering the fact that we just highlighted those very cheap brands, like cheap, yes. like cheap quality, cheap price, and everything. And yet the Live Good Children's USDA certified organic gummy is less expensive than them and far better quality. Yes. So awesome. Yeah, definitely. So amazingly awesome. And you can check out on our website, livegood.com. You can learn more about the multivitamin, give it a shot, order for your child. It's good stuff. I promise you, every once in a while, when we want like a little sweet treat, we might pop one. <laughs> yeah, no, I do actually. I They're, They're really, really good. good. <laughs> They're really, really good. You guys are awesome. Thank you for joining us. Look yes. forward to seeing you next week. Yes, and make sure, yeah. yeah. Well, oh, were we? It's Memorial Day next week. It is yeah. Memorial. Yeah, it we'll is Memorial here. Day. Yeah. But make sure you check out our last week's Zoom. We talked about how to, you know, keep your body weight in check and keep that extra, those extra pounds of fat off during those summer months. So make sure you check out our last week's. Um, live. And until then, we'll see you next Monday. All right, guys. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye.